Alright, so I'm going to show you guys two ways to do halftone effects in Photoshop CS5. Um, the first way I'm going to show you is the hardest way, and it's the funnest way as well. The second uh, way is really easy and kind of annoying if you don't know what you're doing. Um, let's go ahead and start out by making a new file. I'm just going to go with 720p because I like 720p. I don't like using 1080p, but you can use whatever you want. Oh, uh, we're going to go ahead and make a shape. You can be any shape, rectangles, ellipse. I'm just going to make a custom shape. Um, let's make something. Let's make this thing, whatever this is. Um, if you don't see all these shapes here, you can easily get them by pressing this arrow here and you press all you get this pop-up and you press OK and there you go you'll have all those shapes in there and we're gonna go ahead and use the one I selected just drag in anywhere on the screen and there's our little diamond thingy checkerboard <laughs> um Next, we are going to add a few pro uh, blending options to this. Actually, only one. We're going to add a drop shadow. Let's increase the opacity to 100% so we can see the damn thing. And let's uh, increase the distance so we can see what we're doing. Uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put a nice blur on it. But make it so that there's enough black in the middle to make a fill. Uh, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, and anti-alias it. Uh, that makes it a little bit sharper after we're done with the halftone. So, from here you can right click the drop shadow effect there and you can click create layer. And what's that? what that's going to do is it's going to single out the drop shadow and make a layer off of it and it's going to separate the main object. We're going to go ahead and turn off the main object. Oh, um, if it's your first time creating a layer from an effect, then you're going to get a pop-up that says that it might not be able to do anything with effects or anything like that. I don't remember what the pop-up said, uh, but ignore the pop-up because it's just saying meaningless stuff that we're not going to be using. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this and we're going to send it to a new palette. Uh, when you put the new option there it's going to automatically open a new palette that's the same size as the one you're duplicating from. And there you go. Um, so we're in this new palette, right? And it's completely alpha so that's what you need to use. Well, I'm talking to myself, aren't I? Anyway, you have to convert this to a grayscale, first of all. So you can, after that, convert it to a bitmap. Uh, we're going to go ahead and flatten the layers, and we're going to use the standard 72 resolution, and click halftone screen in the method use, because that's what we're doing. Click OK, and you get another pop-up. Um... You know, this is all pretty much preference from here on. You can test this out if you want, but since I've done this myself a few times, I'm going to go ahead and use 7. And since we have kind of a diamond shape, I'm going to change the shape to a diamond. And if you press OK, this cool looking half tone is there. And voila! So this is pretty cool and all but in reality you can't do anything with this because if you try to copy this anywhere it's gonna include all the white around and in the dots and even even in these small little specks here it's gonna include the white and we don't want that white do we so I installed a little plugin which I will include a download link for it's free and how you do this is you click on essentials first of all you have to make sure you're in essentials at the top tab you click on actions 
and you scroll down to a folder that says white to transparency. It doesn't really say transparency, it just says transp, which is really weird, huh? But uh, it's uh, white to transparency, and what we're going to do is actually we can't do anything yet because we have to convert it back to a grayscale. This way it makes the object editable again. So under the white to transparency folder, you click convert to convert white to transparent and you press play. Now you're going to get several pop-ups. Don't worry about them because it's going to be the same end result and it looks like we haven't done anything but we actually have because if you see over here it's created a new layer for us you can go ahead and turn that layer off and there you go you have just your halftone and your alpha and let's go ahead and delete the background it's not needed um we're going to go ahead and duplicate this back into our untitled one our first one and look there you have your half tone along with your shape and your first drop shadow so that's the first way to do this we're going to go ahead and close all this stuff out and make a new one again it can be anything you want i'm just going to go 720 i'm going to show you the wrong way to do this first the wrong way is to get a gradient any color let's do Christmas colors yeah get a gradient and just drag and drop and there's your gradient and filter pixelate color halftone ignore all these channels and just keep it at the default that's the wrong way to do it okay just don't ever do that because it's gonna look pathetic and retarded and it's gonna look really really weird and well actually you know what now that I'm looking at it it looks sorta cool I probably will be able to use this in something but that's not the point uh... we're gonna go ahead and undo everything control alt z twice now we're going to go back to our gradients and instead of selecting that crazy funky color we're going to we're going to go ahead and select black to transparent. Actually, it's foreground to transparent. So whatever your foreground color is. Press okay. Make sure you click the uh default foreground background so that your foreground is black and your background's white. Click in the upper left-hand corner and drag down to the d bottom right-hand corner like so. And after you're done with that, you go to filter pixelate color halftone and now we're going to change these channels to zero because the channels are color channels that we are not going to be using zero zero uh... Let's, i'm gonna put this to six yeah that'll do and press ok and you get a much more realistic color halftone but it's not as uh, exciting as the blurred halftone I showed you before and there's a lot you can do with this so I hope you have fun with whatever I taught you and I hope you come back to see more tutorials thanks for watching bye